Well, tensions between the U.S. and China are coming to a head as a consulate in Texas is ordered to close. One America's Chloe Hawkswell has more on the recent disruption in relations. The U.S. State Department orders a Chinese consulate in Texas to close in order to protect Americans, leading to an increased strain on bilateral relations. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo spoke Wednesday about the move to evict Chinese officials from the Houston embassy by Friday, citing multiple global attacks made by the Chinese Communist Party on intellectual property. There's been this long challenge of the Chinese Communist Party stealing intellectual property. We actually talked about this. It's not just American intellectual property, but stolen. It's been European intellectual property, too, causing hundreds, costing hundreds of thousands of jobs. Good jobs for hardworking people all across Europe and America, stolen by the Chinese Communist Party. Pompeo also talked about the Trump administration's previous efforts to compromise with China. President Trump has said enough. We're not going to. We're, we're not going to allow this to continue to happen. Where they, you've seen the remarks that uh, National Security Advisor O'Brien gave, that FBI Director Ray gave, and that Attorney General Barr has given. We, we are setting out clear expectations for how the Chinese Communist Party is going to behave. And when they don't, we're going to take actions that protect the American people, protect our security, our national security, and also protect our economy and jobs. Uh, that's the actions that you're seeing taken by President Trump. We'll continue to engage in those. A spokesperson for China's foreign affairs ministry commented on the Trump administration's decision to close the consulate, calling it unjustified. China strongly condemns the decision and urges the U.S. side to immediately recall the wrong decision. Otherwise, China will take legitimate and necessary countermeasures. However, firefighters were called to the building in Houston late Tuesday night due to reports of smoke. New video has surfaced of consulate employees appearing to burn documents outside Tuesday after the State Department announced the closure. The decision to shut the embassy doors came just hours after charges were pressed against hackers from China, who are accused of targeting companies who are researching a coronavirus vaccine. The Houston consulate was the first Chinese embassy established in the U.S. following the formation of diplomatic ties in 1979. The State Department has issued a statement saying the move is intended to, quote, protect American intellectual property and Americans' private information. Chloe Hawkswell, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.